All right, before it gets too dark and before I get too far away from what we just did, uh, I'm going to tell you how I removed the starter interrupter. So what was actually happening was this is the buzzer itself. This was sitting up here. This is a 96 Thomas safety liner. Um, this was the buzzer, so this was what was actually buzzing up here. And we tracked down the harness. Sorry about I'm moving around here. This is the harness that comes from all of the, the sensors for the doors, windows, roof, all, all those. So this is everything coming in. And then we actually divulged what was going to the box. We found this box tucked back up in here. This is Bosch number 3222. There's some other numbers on the side. And then when I get underneath here, we've got some more numbers like 30, 87, 86, and something else I can't see right now. So what we actually did was we noticed that there was one wire coming off of this entire pack, this yellow one. This yellow one was the only wire that was going to this little box. That was it. From this wiring harness is what I meant. So that was the only wire going to it was this little yellow one here. So we removed the yellow one, which was the signal coming from all of the closed loops that tells this little box that it's okay to send a signal up, back, sorry, the back wire. It goes back, down, up, and into this harness here. It's a thick purple and white with four marked on it. So then we come back over to the back of the bus. Let's see if I can do this without blowing y'all out here. Nope, not gonna work. Sorry, we're gonna just go into the bus. Being lazy, paying, not paying off. This is the back of the starter solenoid right here. We had this purple wire coming right here to the middle starter of the solenoid. So that was what was sending a signal to the actual starter itself telling it Okay, it's okay to turn on. So, you're gonna have to kind of play around. I don't, not an electrical guru. But what we did was get the box out and connect it so that there was only the box itself. We have the wire coming off of the main harness here, this purple one, coming up and into the box. And then if you look, I can pull the box out. There's only two wires that come in. A purple coming out, a purple coming in, and a purple coming out. Everything else has been bridged to the box. Three wires coming out of the power inlet. This back one is the power inlet. Those are split. One goes here, and one goes here. There's some more numbers on the side. There's not much information online right now, so what we were able to do was get everything out. I have the buzzer in my hand. The door no longer buzzes here up at the front. We have the buzzers, like, on the systems themselves, like, right here, this little buzzer. So I'm getting rid of that right now. Those, they're ready to be cut out. I, once you remove the main wiring harness, that's sending the power coming from... I think this blue guy, or the purple one, was sending power back into here to power everything. So right now, I'm ready to go. That was a major step for me. I'm ready to now start pulling out all of the windows. The roof hatches go out. The rear sensors on the other doors go out. This thing's ready to start hauling, but I am prepping the last little bits I need to do for the outside, just trying to get rid of reflective tape, not worried about areas where like these caps are gonna come off. Those will no longer be there. I've got all of the holes welded up on the front and the rear. I'm happy. I've got all of my proximity lights installed. I've got one, two, three, four rear, 
red. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six ambers. I still have to mount those a little bit. I've got the holes mounted in the front, welded, screwed, glued, blued, tattooed, good to go, looks smooth. I'm getting ready to replace this whole sheet of steel with one solid piece of steel, no little trim uh, flip here, it'll just be like a giant kind of T, and uh, I'll be redoing with some nice uh, stainless steel. Remember I came in here and had to redo all of the bracketing for the back of this and make a whole new front end. I still need to get in here and do a little bit more uh, anti-rust paint. Some more rust-oleum from areas where I couldn't get to the back of and whatnot. But yeah, I made this whole new structure in here. And then some new LED lights are going to go in those conversions. And somebody posted the link for the uh, replacement LED upgrades for those. Because I'm not going to rework them. I just want to replace them with some LEDs. And yeah. Game on.